So we have two things. One is EMMC, which is an embedded card, basically. That is used in pretty much every mobile smartphone, tablet that you see out there today in the world, gaming devices. Everybody's using this. It basically is we manage the NAND for them. They don't have to do that. And it has great security features for them. Um, every year we're getting better and better performance out of these. We now have leading class, what we call class um, 2000, which is that's the amount of a sequential performance you can get on these things. On the, on the ran Actually, it's the random performance, 2000 IOPS. Um, it's fantastic. It's faster than anybody's, and it's at very high density, up to 128 gigabytes for the embedded space. This area is booming. This area is using what we call MSATA. It's a solid state drive that does not look like a hard drive. It looks like a mini card. The performance is unbelievable. It has the same performance as any of our other solid state drives like that look in the hard drive form factor, two and a half inches. The thing with an embedded device is a lot of times it's being soldered down. So it's no longer a card that's being sent back where you see a lot of, you know, somewhat big names out there that sell, say, a, an SD card or a USB thumb drive. Those things, the quality of those is normally much lower. For the stuff that we build, if an RMA comes back, it's not a chip coming back. It's a PC coming back or a tablet coming back or a smartphone. It's getting harder and harder to do that. You know, a die shrink used to be, you know, from 70 nanometers to somewhere in the high 50s, or whatever. It was large shrinks. Now, the, the, when you shrink your die, it might be shrinking at two nanometers only. Um, it's much more difficult. So what we are driving the market to now is going from what traditionally was 2-bit MLC to 3-bit MLC. So we're the first major supplier out there with a 3-bit MLC solid state drive, for example. So, for example, a 256 gigabyte, three bit per cell MLC drive would last at a high level. If somebody was doing 40 gigabytes of writes per day in their PC, which should be a lot of writing, that drive would last you 13 to 15 years. Nobody owns a PC for 13 to 15 years. At least I hope not. <laughs> if they do, then my market is going to be in serious trouble. <laughs>